Support WrestleTalk! Order a t-shirt. Right, I'm not a complete idiot. I get that this title will incite some anger from WrestleTalk viewers and they will let me know in the comments below. And I get that, and I certainly don't think you're wrong. Just, just hear me out. Roman Reigns main eventing his fourth WrestleMania in a row where he is going to be coronated as the guy, again, is not a good thing. They've been telling the right story with the wrong guy. WWE can try as they might, but there will always be a portion of the wrestling world who won't accept Roman Reigns as the top guy in the company. With that said, Roman Reigns main eventing his fourth WrestleMania in a row where he'll be coronated as the guy, again, is technically a good thing. As many predicted because he didn't win the Royal Rumble, Roman Reigns defeated six of Raw's top stars inside the Elimination Chamber to earn the right to face Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 34. This is the final chapter in a year-long storyline that WWE have been subtly telling throughout 2017. Lesnar won the Universal Championship from Goldberg at WrestleMania 33 and since then has been pushed as the unstoppable beast. Samoa Joe couldn't stop him, Braun Strowman couldn't stop him, AJ Styles couldn't stop him, even Kane couldn't stop him. And if you've not watched wrestling for a few years and thought I misspoke, no seriously, Kane was actually in a title match in 2018. And how has Lesnar won? Won all of these matches with his devastating F5. It only takes one to put his opponent away. Meanwhile, Roman Reigns has been out of the main event spotlight from Raw. Apart from that SummerSlam four-way match, but I think we're supposed to forget that happened. He had monster vehicle flipping feuds with Strowman, battles with The Miz over the Intercontinental Championship, a respect match where John Cena endorsed Reigns as the new John Cena, and a reunion of the Shield that would have worked had it not been for the flu. And how has Reigns accomplished all of this? With his devastating spear. It usually only takes one to put his opponents away. This sets the stage for WrestleMania 34, where Brock Lesnar hits the F5 and Roman kicks out at 2.9. He then hits several spears and Lesnar's year-long reign as Universal Champion is over. Roman Reigns is once again the guy. As I said, it's the right story with just the wrong guy. It was actually a story they wanted to tell back at WrestleMania 31. Roman Reigns was going to conquer the seemingly unconquerable Brock Lesnar, the man who killed The Undertaker's WrestleMania streak just one year prior. Sadly for Roman, but great for everyone else, Seth Rollins cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase and won the WWE Championship by pinning Reigns, a decision that was made quite late in the day. This actually caused quite a bit of animosity between WWE and the world-famous Anawai family, as they had been flown in by WWE specifically to watch their Roman Reigns capture the WWE Championship. As Dave Meltzer reported, Seeker was so furious at the finish that later that night there was nearly a bad scene. It appears none of the other family members knew either and all were unhappy, some more than others. So Roman becoming the guy didn't happen at WrestleMania 31. Did happen at WrestleMania 32 though where he beat Triple H for the WWE Championship. And again at WrestleMania 33 when he became only the second man to pin The Undertaker on the grandest stage of them all. And it will happen again at WrestleMania 34, only this time he'll finish what he didn't at Mania 31. Beat Brock Lesnar and become champion. But does it have to be this way? In the lead up to Elimination Chamber, I got a lot of messages on Twitter and we got a lot of comments here on this channel asking about Seth Rollins. After all, he's been on a roll as of late, pulling out an amazing 65 minute performance on Raw just six days before the pay-per-view. And what about Braun Strowman? WWE's happy little accident where their monster heel got over as one of their biggest baby faces. What about putting either man into the WrestleMania 34 main event along with Roman Reigns? After all, they've earned that, right? And wouldn't it be poetic for Seth to be in there to play off Mania 31? People would be more interested interested in Seth Rollins gunning for the Universal Championship or Braun Strowman finally getting a pinfall victory over Brock Lesnar. But here's the thing. If we did that, we're going to have to do this all over again. This is the moment WWE have been wanting for the last four years. The moment where Roman Reigns defeats Brock Lesnar in a one-on-one -on -one match with the Spear to become a champion. Once the dust has settled on WrestleMania 34, we won't be looking at a world where we're waiting for that moment where Roman Reigns slays the Beast. We'll be starting a new chapter in the WWE. It's coincidental because I've been working for WrestleTalk for almost a year now, so I've been able to see this 12-month barrage of negativity towards this fact. People in the comments bemoaning Roman Reigns winning the Universal Championship from Brock 
Brock Lesnar in his fourth WrestleMania main event. So let's put this another way. If WWE don't do this match at WrestleMania 34, we're just going to be doing it all over again next year, and the next year, and the year after that. When it wasn't Brock Lesnar, it was Triple H. When it wasn't Triple H, it was The Undertaker. Now we're back to Lesnar, and this might be the last chance to capture this moment. If we don't have Roman Reigns beat Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania 34 in a one-on-one -on -one match with the Spear, get ready for another 12 months of people bemoaning Roman Reigns being in the main event of WrestleMania 35 as he chases someone else for the title. Only that someone else won't be Brock Lesnar, so we'll get another 12 months just with Roman chasing after someone else. Look, I'm not defending WWE here. As I said at the top of this video, this is something that clearly isn't working. It's not connecting with the audience. Although there are Roman Reigns fans out there, just as John Cena had his fans in his dark days. But this is the direction WWE want to go. Maybe we should treat WWE, specifically Vince McMahon, like a naughty child. We can scold them for doing stupid things like not pushing Becky Lynch, keeping Rusev Day off TV, not doing anything with the revival, mishandling Finn Balor, but maybe we should just let them have this one. Maybe we should just let them pick their nose and eat it. Maybe if we let them have this one, they can go back and focus on the other bits that annoy fans. Eventually, they'll stop eating their own snot. Reigns being in the main event of WrestleMania 34 isn't going to stop his push. He'll likely be in the main events of Mania 35, and maybe even 36, possibly even 37. But it will put an end to this four year long saga. Vince will finally coronate the Beast Slayer Roman Reigns and we can all move on. And isn't that a good thing? Is there something wrong with SmackDown Live? Click the videos on screen right now for more awesome wrestling content.